The elements necessary to be successful and to reach the goals and reach the goals of the athletes, obviously it starts with the athlete themselves, uh, making certain that they believe in themselves. Then you go to the equipment, then the staff, the logistics, everyone behind them from the mechanics to the swan years to the environment that includes both the infrastructure as well as the teammates and the camaraderie so that at the end of the day all they have to do is focus on what they do best which is pedal and win. One of the best things um, I've been saying about the Trek Factory uh, racing program is, is the energy and the vibes from the staff. I think that sets the mood with the riders as well. Um, you know, racing, you, you really need to be in a positive environment and um, each and every staff member and team rider plays their role in helping everybody be happy and uh, be motivated. So, yeah, it's a really good setup. You know, I think that it's, it's helped a lot in the past. It's just been me and Beck, you know, by ourselves, which we've still got some okay results, but we haven't been able to get to our potential. And, um, you know, I think it's, it's helped a lot. Um, we basically just have to concentrate on our riding and our you know training and racing so um, I think you can really put all your focus into just um, getting the best out of our racing and we don't have to worry about you know whether the bike's going to get through the race or the staff are really fantastic we've got you know probably two of the best mechanics on the circuit um, the teams run really well so everything's just smooth and you know, there's just zero stress. So, um. The more inclement weather does make it more difficult for everybody, for everybody, for the equipment, for the mindset. But at the end of the day, if you break it back down to it's just another day uh, at the office and believing in what support is there, what equipment is there, the tires, then you can come out on top. Yeah, I tried not to think about the fact that uh, I was coming to my first World Cup win until I. Uh, I was in the start finish straight. It's been a long time since the Australian anthem's been played at a mountain bike race. Um, so it's a real privilege and um, you know, I'm really proud that uh, I can get one on the board for, for our country. Well, once I sort of got into the top five, I really thought I've got to make the most of it and not get intimidated by these guys. Like, you know, these guys are something that I've never really raced with before, you know, like we're on the same start line together, but they're in another league to me. So, um, you know, I was really positive and made sure that, you know, I'd, I'd still ride my own race and just see them as other riders and not, and not the superstars of the sport that they are. You know, the last lap I started in sixth and I was sort of really hoping I could go top five. And then, yeah, all of a sudden, you know, first was a possibility. And as we got to the top of the last climb, I was sort of, not too far off first and I pushed pretty hard on the last ascent and was able to close the gap down and then so we got to the to the grass paddock with about 500 metres to go together and um, yeah I was just running purely on adrenaline and was able to sort of get to the front before the last corner. And fundamental backstories of any program is the program and the staff believing in the riders and in many times believing in, in their success more than they do and helping to motivate them, to push them, to cultivate that, that spirit and that drive within them and knowing that they can accomplish those goals. And that's a lot of it is just the education and the awareness and then for the same token for the athlete to know that they can go out on the limb, that the team has their back, that the equipment is there, and be able to take those chances and to really grow and to prosper.